Good day, YouTube, and welcome into our Tits Beer Bomb 420 Beer Review. <coughs> Today we're going to be looking at Budweiser Crown. And some parts of the world it's apparently Budweiser Black Crown. Now I got a Budweiser t-shirt on. The only reason I own it is because it was a gift for one year. <coughs> if I was looking for a Budweiser, if I was looking for to go buy a beer shirt, I would going to buy a Budweiser one. Because um, anything that I've ever had with the Budweiser name on it, I've never really liked. <coughs> haven't had all the products that say Budweiser or Bud Light on there or whatever. Because there's like margaritas and stuff. And there's only here what's here. Can't get my hands on anything. But there's a black uh, tab with the crown logo. <coughs> These have been here for a while now. But only by the case. And I didn't want to buy a six pack of bottles or cans or a higher pack. And then it would cost more. And now that there's single cans here, they're around like two thirty five a can. Because you know, these are like a premium beer, so the word premium helps give it a bit more money. <coughs> so I thought for a single one, not golden amber lager, distinctively smooth, beach wood finish, it's six percent. Now, according to their website, they're saying that they use like four special hops or whatever, but aren't saying how many what they are. Talking about it's got like a special style of malt in it. Talking about how they use the beech wood on it extra long. So it's not going to really do much of anything. <coughs> and they're saying for food, you could like add this to the food or just drink it with it. And they're saying they have it with like barbecued ribs, onions, or if you're going to go for like a seafood dish, go for like salmon or oysters. Because they might have said to have the oysters soaked in this beer. <clears throat> but folks, this is not the Anheuser Busch uh, version, so it might be a little bit different, and that's probably why it just said Budweiser Crown, not Black Crown. This is put up through a Bat Brewing Company getting the license thing to do it. But you do see the word Anheuser Busch on here too. But it says brewed by the Bat Brewing Company, so that's how it's sold over here. And it's still the Golden Amber Lager, six percent. So. I'm wearing this shirt because I'm enjoying a Budweiser product. Otherwise, I wouldn't be wearing the shirt right now. <coughs> Cheers, bro, all that stuff. And as of right now, there's all this foam right at the top of the can's hole. You know what? <coughs> it smells like a typical mass produced lager, which it, it is. With like this sweetness smell to it, maybe a hint of like a hairspray smell. Just a twist on Budweiser, basically. Just with the caramel malts, doing it on beach wood longer, making it amber this time, and adding the six percent alcohol content. And my pour. Somehow, there's a bad one, folks. Looks like I got lost in the head. Oh, what the fuck? <coughs> I can smell it from here, folks. It has a little bit of a hairspray smell, like from a salon or something. It's got a little bit of like a slight little fiery spice smell and some sweetness. I smell from here a little bit. <coughs> but I put the can into my nose that. Smell anything, but from the glass, you can get a little bit of it. Open the air. And I don't remember the exact smell of Budweiser. But I'm going to say it's Budweiser, a little sweeter and hairspray like in my taste. <clears throat> well, let me just get a little more in me since. It was just a faint hint of the beer there that was mostly head. It's not good. <coughs> I mean, it's not disgusting like those 7% Budweiser shots that Anheuser Bush puts out. So I've not had the bad version. 
this might be better than a 5% Budweiser. Oh, it'll definitely be better than the 4% light version. <coughs> With an adult line, perhaps. It becomes a little smoother, sweeter, and kind of buttery. So if you want a 6% lager, then you want basically Budweiser, but to get a little bit of a sweetness and butteriness with it, you would go for this one. If I had to have a six pack of these, I guess you, I would probably just chug the others back. But definitely not want to do that type of thing. <coughs> it's a sweeter, butterier Budweiser. And it's a little watery. Um, some people say it tastes like malt liquor to them. Um, maybe a little roughness to this lager, but not completely. But some malt liquors taste similar to each other, and others are completely different. I've talked on long enough, you get the idea. This actually isn't super horrible. <coughs> Not the worst Budweiser products. And I'm sure there's worse out there that I haven't tried at the moment. That I might one day, but um, <coughs> it's nothing good though. It's a little smoother, a bit sweeter, buttery Budweiser, and you can feel the six percent a little bit. That wise, not any burner case wise. And on that note, that's my review of Budweiser Crown 6%, aka Budweiser Black Crown.